Hello, welcome to this lesson um, number two in our productive problem solving class. Thus far, um, we provided a, a really short introduction to um, what, what's called a, a shifting of paradigms. Um, Thomas Friedman um, discussed that, and we'll be reading about shifting paradigms uh, a lot during the semester. And what is a paradigm? It's basically how we view the world around us, how we view problems and success, how we see things, our perspective. And that sometimes we, we have to take on a whole new perspective to be, um, to grow, to be successful. Because we are frequently stuck um, in the same perspectives we have, we've had for years. And we experience problems and then we expect things to be different. Well, if we don't change how we look at things and be willing to look at things and take different actions, things will never be different. And those are some of the same types of challenges that clients face. It's natural to go back into old habits, especially during times of stress and, and life change and trauma. The easiest way to deal with life is to deal with it the way we've always de dealt with it because we know how that feels. We know what will happen. Even if negative things occur, we still know what happens. Um, in this lesson, I want to continue this theme of, of paradigm shifting. And uh, I might want to call this lesson thinking differently, um, or, or thinking different. The, the reason I, I want to choose or, or use the, the motto of sorts is where we'll be introdu introducing readings um, from the textbook in this lesson and activities in the workbook. But I'm also asking you to view, um, to learn a little, little bit about Steve Jobs, who was CEO of Apple, who recently passed away um, in 2011, watch a commencement speech and, and some other items that uh, uh, were produced through his work and, and pictures and video and, and so forth. But the greatest lesson of, of this is that we can take from, from Steve Jobs in human services, which many would think has a great connection. Here's a technology guy, and here's Jamie talking about uh, a technology guy in a human services class. But I, I think it's extremely um, important because um, he, Steve Jobs didn't necessarily consider himself a technology guy. He saw himself as someone that was able to... Um, help other individuals and people um, better use certain tools in their lives. He called it this intersection of technology and liberal arts. And human services is certainly a liberal art in terms of you know, how do we build the best stuff we can? How do we make sure that we are focused? How do we make sure that we concentrate on quality instead of quantity? And those are all the types of, of skills that we need when we work with other individuals. We need to make sure that we deliver the highest quality service that we can. We need to be willing to, um, to think a little bit different, to help clients see different alternatives and different ways of solving problems. Again, as Tom Friedman said, having a different paradigm and understand that we are really all connected. So in, in the prior lesson, I want to introduce Friedman as this, this idea that, that we are all interconnected in this world. Um, whether we are connected to our neighbor or someone halfway around the world, we still have that, that same sense of connection. With, with the jobs videos and activities and thoughts, I want us to talk about and think about just thinking different within that paradigm of perspective. And um, we can also learn that, um, for, from jobs for example, that, that no one is perfect, but we can be successful. Um, if you choose and you want to, to make that choice to be successful. And, and he frequently said that success um, is defined by the person, not by outsiders. So if we're constantly trying to do stuff, uh, that other people want us to do because they call that success are we really being successful and are we really striving to be as, as happy as we can be 
And that's the challenge for so many of our clients, that they're seeking happiness that may not be happiness that they really want to work towards. Frequently it's happiness that someone else tells them they need, or the society tells them they need. And, and clients keep hitting the wall, uh, or keep hitting this glass ceiling of why can't I get any better, or why, cannot, why can't I be happy? Well, maybe the problem is that, that we can't be happy, maybe the, or solve our individual problems. Maybe the bigger issue is we're looking at the wrong problem, and we're not working towards what's really important to us. And any time in, in my professional experience that I help a client work towards something that's really important to them, irregardless of the problem, the process goes easier. If we work towards something that someone else wants them to do, the process is always harder and frequently never is successful. So um, take a leap of faith, go through the sum of the material, uh, read the text material I have assigned. Let's start talking about what we are reading and viewing um, on the discussion boards. Let me know if you have any issues. Be patient with your reading. The intent of this reading is, uh, out of the textbooks, is not to absorb every single word of every single passage, because that will be impossible. Plus, the goal of the material is not to be able to implement all seven habits at the same time. Um, the goal is to maybe by the end of the semester find one particular skill or activity within the material that you're really really interested in that we can work on and work towards. Then we can take another one. Then we can take another one. I've been reading this material for 15 years. I don't agree with 100% of it and the material that I do agree with I'm still working on every day, over and over and over, to be the best I can be. So generally, we have some pretty pretty strong responses to the material. I will continue to talk about as we go through. But in the meantime, uh, don't feel like you have to remember every single word. That's not the case. This is a, a, a process of, of building foundations. And uh, be patient with yourself in the process. Uh, have a good day.